All right, guys, today I'm uh, working on uh, this washer pump, windshield washer pump. I got a new one that I ordered that came in. Here's a little grommet like. I've greased it already. And um, now there's a couple ways to, to get access to this. You can crawl underneath and fish up. It's actually connected on the front of this windshield washer uh, reservoir. And uh, if you remove your battery and remove that battery tray post, you can have straight access to it almost. But I'm going to try to actually work it from underneath. And uh, the orientation of that is actually this way. And what happens is, I'm sorry, this way. What happens is that stem there gets pushed down into this grommet and pushed into the tank. And this up here helps it to clip on. Then you have your hose here and then your electrical connection up at the top. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to shoot up and show you a picture of that, but it literally, to pull it out, you're gonna pull this way and pull it out. It's gonna pull out of that old grommet. You're gonna set this into the new grommet and push down into it, snap it into place, put your hose on and your electrical connection. Uh, so if I can get a shot from underneath, I will. If not, that's all that is to it. Uh, these are relatively inexpensive. I think I got this for like eight bucks. Uh, and you can also electrically check that. I've already checked my fuses and it's okay. But if you look on your fuse panel, It'll have a windshield washer panel. Here it is, wash, and you can check the fuse. So we open up your panel. This is an 06 Chevy. You can see that uh, it shows my windshield wash is a 15 amp here. Uh, and uh, like I said, I've already checked my fuses, so I know it's not fused. You can also do a 12 volt tester to make sure you're getting power there. And I'm sure I am. So. Anyway, here goes. I'm going to get this replaced and all, and hopefully then we'll start having uh, have that work again. Now, if you, also, if you want to catch this fluid, uh, if it's full, you can catch it. You're going to have to run you some sort of hose from here or catch you, get a catch pan because it is going to leak and run out. I've just got a pan down there. I'm not going to reuse mine. But if you wanted to, you could put a hose on here or, or catch some sort of drain pan, a clean drain pan to catch it and, and reuse that fluid. All right, hopefully this is helpful. Again, 06 Chevy Silverado 1500. All right, I may be able to get you a shot here. Here it is here. From, I'm on the driver's side, uh, laying on my back. But there's the pump, if I can show you. Uh, make sure the camera's pump is right there. I'm going to literally reach in, unplug it on top, pull out on it, pick it up, pick it out. It's going to drain. There'll be a lot of fluid coming out of it because I think I got a full reservoir. So, uh, and then we'll get it replaced. All right, that's me just catching it. It runs out now. Just going to let it run out. And like I said, you could use a clean pan or something to catch that and reuse that fluid if you wanted to. But uh, I disconnected. I did have to push up. I got me like something here to, like this here, just to reach in there and kind of push up once I clipped it out. Go ahead and push it out of its uh, place. Then I'll reach in and snap the new one in when this drain finishes. That's all it is to replacing that. Plug it back up, put your toes on, and you're good to go. All right, guys, and there you go. Got your windshield washer back.